I would say living in Istanbul is as cool of a place to live overseas yeah. as anywhere I've been. While in Turkey, I had a chance to sit down with Wisconsin basketball legend Sam Decker, who's been playing professional ball out in Turkey for the last two seasons. Second year in Turkey, third year abroad. He told me the atmosphere at Turkish basketball games was a sight to behold. Especially EuroLeague games, the passionate fans are insane. The chants, drums, every bucket is huge. There's times where they've had to put up nets around the crowds because people are throwing stuff. One time a battery got thrown at me, I was shooting a free throw. Sounds like Philadelphia. Yeah, throw it, throw it. <laughs> it's something I think a lot of sports fans should do once in their lifetime, to see like a big EuroLeague match. Well, lucky for me, the next day, there was a match in Istanbul between Turkish club FS and Nadalu in Real Madrid. And a couple Turkish sports journalists said if I met them at a bar before the game, they might even be able to hook me up with a press pass. Hey, how are you? We are in a rowdy and smoky sports bar right outside of the stadium where FS plays basketball. FS is a popular beer in Turkey, but it's also the name of their best basketball team. Tonight, they are playing Real Madrid, and we'll be going to the game to see what Turkish basketball is all about. Cheers. Accompanying me to the game tonight was a man named Tanju. I love that you can be like drinking and supporting the team at the same time. Who is easily the biggest FS super fan on the planet. He even has an FS tattoo, which I'm sure we'll see once we get in there, and he starts taking off a few layers. There's a lot of basketball teams in Istanbul. Would you say that FS is the most popular? Not just the most popular, but also the most successful. It's the first Turkish team that win any uh, cup in European competitions. Well, hey, I am pumped because I just realized I haven't been at a live basketball game since a Shanghai Sharks game in 2019. Let's go. It would also be my first time credentialed at a basketball game since the Sharks gave me a press pass back in 2017 immediately regretted their decision and never let it happen again. So, this is pretty fucking cool. I headed backstage to see Tanju and the other super fans preparing for their performance tonight. As in Turkey, the super fans are also the team's in-house hype fan. For the first quarter, I decided to join Tanju up in the super fan section. Fucking Real Madrid. Stick to soccer, guys! Basketball is not their game. The stands were buzzing. But now it was time to put my press pass to good use and do some courtside reporting. However, almost immediately, I was told by staff I can't just be roaming the sidelines all willy-nilly and would have to be relegated to the press section. But even in the press box, everyone was wondering who the fuck I was. The press, Marshall Sports. Everyone's very confused. They don't seem to believe I'm a Big J Journal, but I'm like, dude, read it and weep. I don't think the other journos appreciated my presence as I was getting weird looks every time I cheered for the home team. I think it's because I'm decked out in FS colors and um, big J's are supposed to be impartial. But while in the press box, I did make a shocking discovery. It's fucking Yabba Dabba Doo, dude. Turns out Yabu Selly, my old friend from Shanghai, he's now playing for Real Madrid. You don't forget that ass. Dude is dumb thick. Yabu Selly was in China same time as me when like COVID first kicked off 
me and Yabu Selly were gonna meet up for a video. This was before COVID even became like a big thing. And he goes, nah, man, I'm getting out of China. This shit's about to get bad. And I was like, Yabu Selly, you're overreacting. He fucking called his shot. Now I, I don't even know what he's here for. No, I'm still gonna root for FS, but I would love to at least get a few words with Yabu. Yabu! I don't even know you was gonna be here too. Dude, I haven't seen you since China. It's good seeing you, man. I'm sorry, I'm rooting for the opposite team, but don't worry about it. I love you, buddy. He saw the shades and he was like, that's fucking Donnie. He didn't even act. Surprised. The last time he saw me, I was at a Shanghai Sharks game, like literally four years ago. He looks over, he goes, Oh, it's Donnie. Yeah, of course he's here in fucking Turkey. It was gonna hurt rooting against my guy Yabuselli, but I was already in too deep with FS. And seeing they be starting the half down by five, I knew they could use my help. The first half was not very successful for us. We are all playing better than us. We are not good in defense. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen in the second half. We got this. You guys are a second half team. Always have been. Despite my optimism, we came out cold in the third quarter. And to make matters worse, Yabu Selly had the juice. Yabu Selly, you're killing me. Just let me have this moment. Fuck! Yabu Selly just drained two threes in a row. This guy is a threat. in like 10 minutes. The mood in the stadium had taken a turn for the worse. So at the end of the quarter, I headed to concessions for the only thing I thought might help. One slobby burger, extra slobby. Rally burgers. Turkish delicacy, the Eastlock burger. It translates literally to wet burger. Looks good, smells good. This is up there with the best slobby burger I've had since arriving in Istanbul. I don't know what you guys put in the slop, but this is good. We're going 3.9 balls. All right, I gotta go catch the last quarter. The sloppy burger must have done the trick. We're down by nine, seven minutes left. Because by the time I got back to my seat, Real Madrid had started playing sloppy as fuck. Ah! Oh my God, he's got rejected. Sloppy burgers, dude. We got some rally slops. And FS finally started to play with some heart. to make this a four-point game. When FS took the lead for the first time all game of only two minutes left, the energy in the beer garden was bubbling. I feel like this is an NBA playoff game. The place was a zoo. And Real Madrid was rattled. Dub secured. We fucking did it! Tough break for Yabu, but one hell of a night for me and the other super fans. This team has a lot of heart, man. And this guy is the one who keeps the heart beat, even though we were down for a lot of the game. He kept the heart chugging along. No heart attack. No, we're still going strong, baby. Let's go.
And after the game, I was finally able to put my press pass to good use. Brad Stevens couldn't win a title with Shane Larkin, but you pulled it off last year. How's that feel? Excellent feel. Shane Larkin is a great player. And uh, you see, it's a great atmosphere there, like NBA, maybe sometimes more than NBA. How does the atmosphere of the garden compare to the atmosphere here? The natural noise and the singing and the chants and all that definitely adds to the atmosphere. I think over here is more similar to like a crazy college game as opposed to, you know, NBA games where sometimes it's like people go there just for the fashion. I think here it's like genuine passion for the game, not everybody on their phones and trying to look cool. So. You seem to have fully embraced playing in Turkey. What do you love about living in this country? Just the support that I received as soon as I got here. Um, the people accepted me, uh, showed me nothing but support. You know, I had some ups and downs early, um, but eventually I put it together, started playing really well. I uh, eventually became a Turkish citizen. Have you ever been to a camel wrestling match? <laughs> I, have, I have not been to a camel wrestling match, no. I highly recommend it. I mean, it sounds pretty interesting. I might have to check that out. Reporting live from my first FS basketball game.